Kartoffelpuffer, also called Reibekuchen or Kartoffelpfannkuchen, that can be translated to potato pancakes. And they're probably relatives of your hash browns. They're still a little bit different though. Um, we eat it either in a sweet version with some cinnamon and sugar and some applesauce, or we eat it with a hearty version where we add some graved salmon and some sour cream. So what I need for this is one kilogram of potatoes, which turns out to be like four large potatoes. I need three eggs, one onion, doesn't have to be a red one, can be a yellow one too. A, t a teaspoon of salt, some flour, about 40 gram, but usually I need a little more. And yeah, basically that's all you need. You also need some additional oil for the pan later. And I will start with making, I was shreddering the Shredding, is that a word? We're shredding the potatoes. And I can use this uh, with my kitchen machine, but today I decided to make it by hand. So I just shredder this. And this will take a while. Almost there. Just a little more. Okay. Keep the fingers safe. And put this all in. Okay, now I set this aside for a little bit. And um, next is the onion. So, and when I went through the ingredients, I noticed that my onion actually is moldy. And I was tempted to quietly switch it out, but then I thought, well, let's just talk about this. So sometimes we have food that is moldy and just on a part. So you see, this is the lower half of my onion. And of course I could technically cut this away and then still use it. The thing is, if you see mold, that's just the visible part of it. The mold is actually in the entire onion. This is just like the blooming area. And so basically the whole um, onion is um, is moldy and you shouldn't use it because there are toxins in it. And these toxins can either make you sick now or, or even additionally, can cause uh, cancer later in life. So do not ever use any food that is moldy. Don't just cut it away and think it's all good now. Just throw it away because this thing is not eatable anymore, okay? So I put this aside. Lucky for me, I have another one which is just perfectly fine. It doesn't have any mold in it and I will just use it. And interesting, this one is kind of like a, like a twin onion. <laughs> Never seen that before. So let's see, I'll probably just use half of it, otherwise it's a little bit too large. So let me quickly clean this up, remove the skin, and then I have my wonderful machine. Well, can it handle the entire one? Let's see. Yes! Well, that was fast, right? Okay, so I have this now. Actually, this is a little bit too large. I would like to have them a little smaller so I get on it a little bit with a knife. Okay, so I set this aside for a moment. cover it so I don't cry. Um, all right, so now I'm mixing this a little bit, makes it easier when I continue with the recipe. And while I was chopping the onion, you can see that a lot of liquid came out of the potatoes and that's actually a good thing because now I can squish it out. So I'm using a second bowl and I take a handful of this potato shredder and I 
squeeze it as good as I can to get the liquid out of it. And put it in my second bowl. And I will do this with the entire shredded potatoes, just like this. Now I have squeezed all or squeezed out all of the liquid from the potatoes and I can add my other ingredients now, which is the onions from before. And even if you decide to make the sweet version, still the onions belong into this recipe. So if you eat it with sugar and cinnamon and some apple sauce, it's still required to have some onions in it and you will be surprised how good it tastes. Okay, so next I add my eggs and one teaspoon of salt. I have some kosher salt here. It has more taste in my opinion and I prefer it for cooking. Now I mix this. I like the red onions in it. It's, it's a great contrast to the potatoes, but you can also use yellow onions. It doesn't have to be red. All right, and now the flour. And 40 gram is about two full tablespoons. Let's start with one and mix it in. And a second one. You can, of course, measure it, but I, I just do it from experience. Yeah, so I can see that this has a very good texture. It sticks together, it's not, not too liquid. And just making sure that the salt gets everywhere. I don't like it if they are, you know, if they have a lack of salt. And I often bake or fry one of these potato pancakes and then I try it and see if there's enough of the salt in it. And if not, I can still add some. Okay, so this is ready to be fried and I'll move everything over to the stove now. Okay, I'm heating the pans. I have them on seven. I will lower that in a little bit. And I add some oil. You can use olive oil or any kind of oil that is healthy and can be heated, like sunflower oil. I have avocado oil. I like that. Okay, it's getting a little warmer. And here's my, yeah, my pancake batter, basically. Some people add some herbs to this, that's possible. Or a little pepper or something. I'll stick to the just salt kind of thing. Okay. And let me move the light a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah, so I add some of this and I try to make a somewhat round shape and I don't want to make it too thick. It's like, let's say a quarter of an inch, roughly. All right. And I try to get as many in the pan as possible because it takes a while to fry them. So once the pan is really hot, it takes six to eight minutes overall for each batch that's in the pan. So the more often you have to fill the pan, the longer it takes overall. 
So that's why I also have a second pan here. Just to speed the things a little bit up. And they are best served when they're fresh from the pan. But if you cannot accomplish that, maybe because you have a big family, you have to make quite a bit, then you can just put them in the oven and keep them warm there. So, okay, this pan seems to be a little hotter already. Okay, let's fry that for about three to four minutes and then we'll see if I can already turn them. Wow, this already really smells very good. And um, let me see. Yes, so it's fine to just flip them once they get this slightly brown color. And don't be tempted to increase the heat to make things, you know, a little, go a little bit faster because this will just burn them. And they actually need some time in the pan, or oh, this one can stay a little longer. They need some time in the pan so the potato shredders um, are really cooked through. You don't want to bite on a hard potato piece. So just give them the time they need. Don't rush it. Let's just turn this to the middle so they are even in the color. All right. Yes, so I think they are ready to be taken out, yes. And um, you see, I prepared a plate with some paper towel on it and I want to reduce the fat a little bit by putting them on this paper towel so that some of the oil gets absorbed from that. I'll put another layer here and I could serve it right now but first I have to make some pictures so I will put some of them in the oven and some of them on the plate for the pictures. And I continue to make the last couple of potato pancakes since I still have some of the batter here.